Developing tonight, a $1.9 billion question. Can Raiders owner Mark Davis find an ace in the hole after losing two big financial backers in as many days? 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan looks at the Raiders' options now that some say the NFL stadium deal is on life support. Since Governor Brian Sandoval signed the stadium bill late last year, Raiders owner Mark Davis and Sheldon Adelson have basically been going head-to-head -head at the final table. Davis working from the short stack with a net worth of about $500 million, hoping to get his ace on the river. Sheldon Adelson has that big chip advantage, net worth of about $30 billion, appearing to have the early lead in the negotiations. But then last week with that lease agreement, Mark Davis trying to push all in counting on a loan from Goldman Sachs, but then angered by that move, Sheldon Adelson calling Davis's bluff saying he'll walk away from the table, cut his losses. Then Goldman Sachs saying if Adelson's out, we're not giving Davis that line of credit, leaving Davis back with his original short stack of just $500 million in net worth, looking for a new partner to step to the table. This isn't the kind of thing you wake up in the morning and say, geez, I got $650 million I can invest in a stadium in Las Vegas. If nobody will gamble on the Raiders in Las Vegas, Davis could always stay in Oakland. The Ronnie Lott-led group there says they're ready to negotiate on a new stadium proposal as well. So I think Oakland is the right place for the Raiders. You got the fan base, you have a community, and most of all, we want the Raiders to stay where they belong in Oakland. Two other options for Davis are to get Adelson back to the bargaining table or start looking at other cities hoping to regain an NFL team. Brian Callahan, 13 Action News.